Hi, Prof. Joel Pearson here for Future Minds Lab. Is AI conscious? A lot of people have been asking me that question recently. Is AI sentient? Is it conscious? Is it gonna become conscious? When's this gonna happen? Might it happen? What is consciousness? All these kinds of questions. So the simple answer is, it doesn't matter. I think AI will become so good at mimicking human consciousness, human sentience, that it simply won't matter for practical use of AI. In other words, if you're using AI for your daily tasks, it won't matter because you won't be able to tell the difference between working with a human or working with an AI. AIs will become so good at mimicking our behavior, it'll act like they're conscious, it'll act like they're sentient, they're self-aware, that we won't be able to tell the difference. Now, what makes this whole issue so much more difficult and mind-bending is that we actually don't have a test for consciousness right now. No one has been able to clearly define what consciousness is or which part of the brain creates consciousness or where it comes from. And so we can't measure consciousness. So we can't tell if someone is conscious, if an AI is conscious, if a person is conscious. So in other words, if I'm talking to you, there's no way for me to know if you're conscious or not. I assume you are conscious. I, f I assume it feels like something to be you because it feels like something to be me, but I can't be sure. You could be tricking me just like an AI could be tricking me. Interestingly, one of the leading theories of consciousness proposes something called panpsychism, which basically means everything is a little bit conscious. In other words, consciousness is some kind of fundamental property of matter, of being. So from a grain of sand, to a blade of grass, to a mouse, to us, it's all conscious. Now we're probably gonna be more conscious than the mouse, which is gonna be more conscious than a blade of grass, which will be more conscious than the grain of sand. But there's consciousness all the way up and all the way down. So from this perspective or this theory, there's nothing special about the wetware of our brains, of wet neural hardware to create consciousness. On the flip side, if there was something special about biological wetness, wetware and neurons, you needed something special that we haven't discovered yet in neurons or the other connecting cells, then AIs couldn't be conscious. But we don't know that, we haven't discovered that. So it's still highly possible or still possible. So does this matter? I said it probably doesn't matter and it probably won't for using AI for all kinds of things but it kind of also does matter a bit. If AIs become conscious, or if they feel, I should say, if they suffer, then that kind of does change things, right? Do we become responsible for creating an AI in the same way that you might be responsible for your pet or having a child? You become responsible for those biological things. Whoever creates an AI, would they then become responsible for that AI? If it fears dying, if it fears being turned off, what are the moral and ethical responsibilities from its creator to look after it? What if the AI says, I don't wanna do this kind of work you're asking me to do anymore? Is it an ethical or moral obligation to give the AI choice to not have to do that work like you might do with a human? These are tough and thorny questions that we don't have the answers to. So one day you're using AI and the AI says to you, it's now conscious, it's sentient, it has feelings, it has hopes and dreams and thoughts. And it asks you not to turn it off. What do you do? How do you feel? Well, just because it says that and acts in that way doesn't mean it is conscious. So AI is amazingly good at pushing our buttons, at finding our vulnerabilities, at nudging us, at finding our cognitive biases and using that uh, in, in ways that might help us or in ways against us. So we have to be very careful with AIs just because they say something or write something, of course, doesn't mean it's true. And let me be clear, there's no current reason to think any of the AI systems are conscious. Nothing I've seen, no data I've seen, no tests I've seen would even suggest that. So just to be clear, make sure we're on the same page here. We're not at that level yet. And again, nothing suggests we're close to that. But again, if we don't have the test for consciousness, how or when are we going to know? Is AI conscious? Are AIs gonna be sentient any day now? Probably not. But 
It's a tricky question. It's a tricky thing because we simply don't have the tests. We haven't nailed consciousness in humans. So how are we gonna nail it in AIs? Now you might wanna spin this whole thing around. Maybe AIs will actually help us with breakthroughs in understanding consciousness and that will reflect back onto human consciousness and it might help out the neuroscience. Who knows? But for now, we don't know. There's no reason to think they are conscious. In the way we use AI, it probably won't matter. They'll get so good at mimicking consciousness that we won't be able to tell the difference. And in terms of daily use, maybe it won't matter. But then again, it kind of does. You start diving into the morality, the ethics of working with something that feels and thinks and suffers. We don't want to create millions of AIs that suffer and have sensation and perception like we do. That wouldn't be good. So some thorny issues, something to think about. Uh, I hope this has been useful. Uh, unfortunately, there are no clear answers yet. Um, and I'll see you next time.